You've heard today that the theme is love. I'm going to tell you the operative words in your life together as a married couple are going to be patience, mercy, and forgiveness. Especially that forgiveness part. Why? You know, we're human. And somewhere along the line, we constantly turn to each other and say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry about one thing or another. And when that time comes, I want you to remember that forgiveness must be freely given and openly received. For if you do not have the capacity to forgive, you will never have the capacity to love. Individually consider yourselves those individual strands and God himself is that third strand woven together you'll have a very strong lasting tight loving relationship I, Kevin, take you, Caitlin, to be my partner in marriage and in life. I pledge to love and cherish you, to, tre to trust and respect you, to comfort and encourage you, and to learn and grow with you. In sickness and in health and joy, I will live with you and love you for as long as we both shall live. Hi, Caitlin. Take you, Kevin, to be my partner in marriage and in life. I pledge to love and cherish you, to trust and respect you, to comfort and encourage you, to learn and grow with you, in sickness and in health, in sorrow and in joy. I will live with you and love you for as long as we both shall. Now that you've given yourselves to each other by solemn vows and exchanging of rings, I can now pronounce you as husband and wife, and you may now kiss your bride. gotten to know you guys over the last couple of years and a wonderful family we're so proud that uh, that our two families have joined together through these two guys so I think that's a great thing thank you now I'll tell you a little bit about when I first met Kate the day I met Kate they Kevin and Kate had come to Philadelphia and I was like oh my goodness Kevin wasn't lying he has a girlfriend but getting to know Kate I can be as honest and open with her as I am with Kevin and that's incredible It's no wonder you became a teacher because building relationships that close and that personal are not very easy to do and you are amazing at it. Kevin, we got to know for the last four or five years and a uh, very polite, respectful guy. I think they're made for each other. I really do think they're made for each other. Just want you to know there are six keys to a happy marriage. Uh, e. Every marriage is unique. A, 
always trust in one another. G, grow more in love every day. L, love each other unconditionally. E, equal responsibility is key. And S, speak to each other honestly. So always remember the most important thing for a marriage. Remember your E, A, G, L, E, S, Eagles! I love you both and I wish you nothing but happiness for your entire lives. May you always be blessed with each other, a happy home, healthy children, and most importantly, a house full of dogs. They're a great couple, and I would like to uh, offer a toast, an Irish toast, to the new Mr. and Mrs. Kevin Pelusian. So if you would raise your glasses. May you have a love that never ends, lots of money, lots of friends, health, and whatever you do, and may God bestow many blessings on you.